Hello and welcome to another super speedy summary for Dr. Journal Club. Today we're going to talk about statins and their use for primary prevention. This came out in JAMA last year. This was the results of the United States Preventative Task Force analysis. There's this merit review meta-analysis and their recommendations. So as you all know, the cardiovascular disease is a major killer in the United States and across the world. Statins are extremely commonly used. However, they're used and extremely effective for secondary prevention, aka people that already have a heart attack. What about people that have not had a heart attack for primary prevention? Their baseline risk is so much lower. Will the cost-benefit ratio for primary prevention still hold? In other words, is there going to be enough benefit for primary prevention without causing too many adverse events to make it not worth it for people that have never had a heart attack before. And what they found was, yes, this was a massive systematic review and meta-analysis, studies of over 71,000 participants in total, and what they found were statins were effective for primary prevention, so people that had at least one risk factor for cardiovascular disease but have never had a heart attack before, but of course, because their baseline risk is so low, the numbers needed to treat were very high, from the hundreds to the two hundreds. And unlike other studies, many of which we've covered in Dr. Journal Club, they did not find any obvious statistically significant signals for adverse events with statins in this review. To watch our full length video on this article, as well as many others on statins, go ahead and go to www.drjournalclub.com.